Hey everybody, it's Jackie schomburg Uh I've been thinking a lot this week about how improv comedy, one of the great loves of my life, uh, mirrors the creative process. And for me personally, I've realized there's a lot of connection and a lot of overlap. So I wanted to uh, point that out today and get your thoughts on. Tina Fey has four rules of improv comedy that she's talked about. The first rule is to agree with the scene with your partner. Uh, the second thing is yes and, which I'll explain in a little bit later. Uh, the third is to make statements instead of questions. And the fourth is that there are no mistakes. Uh, I spent some time, do, from some years, uh, doing improv comedy in Chicago. I took classes at the Second City and I.O. Uh, I never did a lot of performing. I did some class performances and things like that. Uh, but I love improv comedy. I think it's the best. I think it's so fun and so clever and so smart. And it's so much fun to do because there's no preparation. You just, well, you, there's kind of some games you can learn within the game of improv, but you, there's no script. There's no predetermined characters. It literally is going on stage, taking a suggestion from the audience and making things up as you go along. And because it's never been done before and because it's never been, it never will be done again, there's so much uniqueness and it feels so special because whoever's there in the room that night is your audience. That's the only people that will ever see the, the show you put on. Um, and I, I love that. I love the specialness about it. I love just how much fun it is to do it. And because there's no script, you can't get it wrong. It can be more or less funny and more or less uh, cohesive, but you can't get it wrong. And I feel the same way about art. It's hard to get art wrong unless you stop. And I'm guilty of stopping sometimes when things are ugly and I kind of don't know what to do past that point but I'm getting better as I get more practice to continue pushing my art farther along. And as long as I don't give up, it usually ends up turning into something that I'm proud of. So with improv, Tina Fey has four rules. The first rule is agree. So on improv, you agree with the suggestion that someone else puts out. So if someone comes out on the stage and they say, oh, the DMV lines are so long, why do we have to keep coming here? Okay, so to agree with that, someone else might suggest, you know, well, because we get new license plates every week because you keep changing your mind about your personalized license plate. That agrees with your first, with the first person saying, yes, we are at a DMV. Okay, I'm in this world with you. We agree that we're now at a DMV and we're going to build the scene from here. As long as everyone's on the same page and knows what to expect, at least in terms of the environment, that is very helpful, okay? With the same thing's true with art. If I am agreeing with myself, I can take a painting that's half done or a quarter done, agree with whatever's on the canvas. Don't have to like it. I don't have to like being at the DMV in, a, in an improv scene, but I can agree, okay, this painting right now has a lot of red and green in it. Great. Um, that gives me a place to accept the current situation and it gives me a, a springboard to move on from and add to. So the second rule of improv is um, yes and. And yes and, the yes ties back to the first rule, which is agree. So yes, we're at the DMV. I hear you, I'm on board with you, we're at the DMV. The and references building more. So adding more, contributing more to that scene. So not just saying, yep, we're at the DMV, which gives your partner no information, no new information to work with. You're just putting more pressure on that person to come up with something else. So uh, you might say, uh, yep, oh, man, I keep failing my test. I'm so sorry. I don't want you to have to, you don't have to drive me everywhere anymore. I really want to make this test work. I'm so nervous. Oh. And then at least it gives you more about your character. People on stage know now that you're the one who's taking the test and keeps failing it. And that can inform future decisions of everyone on stage. With art, 
the yes and. So yes, we're agreeing that my painting it has too much red and too much green. At least it has red and green in that moment. And the and can be, what am I going to do next? Okay, so do I paint over all the green with blue? Do I make some big, bold shapes? I can do anything I want as long as I do something. Because staring at art that's unfinished is not helpful. <laughs> I've tried. I've tried hoping that art gets better when I don't touch it, but it doesn't work. So no matter what I do, I can use that as a springboard to build from. And it'll carry my art farther. And as long as that happens, I'm going the right direction. Okay, so stay tuned for more videos and I will explain the last two steps. How are you thinking of this? Does this make sense to you guys? Are you on board? Do you buy in? Uh, let me know in the comments below and follow me on Instagram if you'd like to see me work out some more. Bye!